Hi there and welcome to another Boodle Woodle tutorial but this isn't so much a tutorial as just uh, <coughs> telling you about my new toy. Uh, I've got myself an HEQ5 mount after four years of working with the EQ5 Skywatcher mount. Finally uh, managed to get hold of a HEQ5 and I've got it all set up here at the moment. Uh, on the laptop I've got EQ mod working and the Carter Stuckel uh, sky chart and over here in my observatory is my HEQ5 just got it today it's second hand but it's in very good nick and uh, I'm going to get some different weights for the end there perhaps but it all works and um, forecast tonight is for clear skies so I'm going to test it all out it looks like it's uh, on a life support machine with all these wires so let's just talk you through what we've got first up here is the standard Skywatcher 10x50 Finoscope with a Logitech 4000 Pro webcam attached inside it my friend on the forums made me a nice little adapter for it to put it inside of there you can also get adapters from Morgan's and then uh, make your own adapter in there but the finder scopes make a great little guide scope which is what I'm using this for so that just connects straight into my laptop with this long cable and then I've got a Canon 350D attached to the telescope with a uh, T adapter and uh, I've got a uh, cable coming out here which is uh, to power it um, and then over here I have two more cables which run to the laptop which control the focusing and the transfer of the images to my laptop I'm also running uh, the software Backyard EOS to control the telescope so that's the cables coming from the webcam and the camera the telescope is the Skywatcher 200p uh, which I've had for four years now brilliant telescope really really good and then out of the uh, mount over here we have a cable running to the laptop uh, which connects up to the software uh, your power cable is a 12 volt power cable and you've got your switch and then over there in the back there is the ST4 cable for auto guiding purposes if you want it but because I'm using EQ mod I can just plug my webcam straight in and guide through EQ mod so I don't need to use that um, and that's the cables coming from that which is great because I used to have all these other cables running to my EQ5 mount um, but with the HEQ5 I don't need them so there we go that's the telescope set up and ready to go and tonight um, I don't know if you can see it up there but just above the trees the moon is out so we might get a few shots of the moon set up the guiding and uh, just do a little bit of uh, messing around really but there we go I've got my HEQ5 mount and I am a very happy chappy so let's just give it a quick whirl on the uh, on the uh, software here and get it to slew to a target so we go back over to the laptop and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first unpark the mount which you must always do if you're going to slew to a target Unparked. So it's unparked. And then I'm going to slew to, I don't know, what should we pick? Let's go to the little binoculars up here and choose uh, the moon. So you find the moon. There it is. And it's indicated here that it's found it. So we're just going to go up here to the slew icon and press the slew button and it will slew to the moon. Slew into target. It slews much, much faster than my previous setup, so I'm going to have to watch that, or it might clunk me across the head and knock me out. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Wow, so fast. I'm so not used to that. There it goes, and it's slew complete. Pointing up there to the moon. Brilliant. Right, let's put it back into the home position. Uh, over here, go to park to home position at the bottom there. Click that. Parking. And let's watch it park to the home position. Now 
And tonight when I'm trying this all out, I'll be doing my polar alignment to make sure that's spot on and be testing out my guiding. And when I've finished, I'll let you all know Parked. how everything goes. So there we go. New HEQ5, new second hand HEQ5 mount for Boodle Woodle and uh, very, very happy chappy. Now all we need is for the stars to come out and we can have some fun. Catch you later everyone. Thanks for watching.